all in your scent I want to bite it and slide it on in You cannot hide it, can't help but give in Can you keep up, we going again Finish it over, she throw it again Make it say my name Ride on the dick on it Make it with a duck again The P. Louise base, which is the whitest shade they have and i'm pretty much just putting this on my eyelid to give my eyeshadows a vibrant you know look since i'm using like bold colors i really want it to stand out so i'm just going to go in blend it with a bh cosmetic brush i believe and of course you know my finger and just send that and then i'm going to go in with the um morphe james charles palette and the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette and I'm pretty much just going to go in with shades from the rainbow, rainbow and, you know, blend it in. And it's really not much to it other than me just putting the colors on my lid and making sure you blend very well. The key to a successful look is pretty much just blending your shades and stuff um, together. That's really all you have to do. Um and the brush I'm using is the a brush from the BH Cosmetics um line with it's my Ray Ray. And I pretty much used the same um uh, brush. I just went in there and um when I went to each color, I used a color switch. So you're gonna see me in a video like cleaning off the brush with the little ultra um uh, color switch thing I have. And right now I'm just zooming y'all in so y'all can see exactly what i'm doing and i'm pretty much just going in with different colors from the james charles palette and like i said the bh cosmetic palette um the yellow shade i was using is from the take me back to brazil palette because the one in the james charles palette it was okay but it wasn't all that and the orange i'm going in with is from the james charles um palette and it's a pretty good orange. I really love the James Charles palette for the most part. And it's pretty good. And I'm right now I'm just blending, blending, blending. You'll probably hear me say that a lot. It's blending. And of course I'm going back in and cleaning off the brush. And then I'm going to go in with the red. And the red I think I used is from the James Charles palette. And I may mix it with a love the red from the Take Me Back to brazil um palette and i really love those palette the purpose of this look is you know to celebrate pride i'm all for being happy i'm for gay pride love is love it don't matter who you with um love wins at the end of the day so regardless of who you with as long as you happy and they ain't mistreating you then you know life is good and i'm going to go in with the lime green shade um out of the james charles palette um it's a real nice vibrant green um i went in with it like a few times to like blend on my eye and while i'm trying to do this voice over y'all my screen is kind of freezing up so i'm just gonna go with the flow um the next color i'm going in with is the blue shade and the blue shade i'm using is out of the james charles palette and it's very pigmented it's like a tillish um type blue and then the last color i'm going to use on my lid is um the purple shade and the purple shade I used um, was out of the BH Cosmetics palette because the one in the James Charles palette, um, it's kind of like patchy. But you know, purples are like hard shades to really make. So I used the one out of the BH Cosmetics palette because it's, you know, nice and pigmented and it wasn't patchy or blotchy at all. And I just pretty much, you know, blend until, you know, I like the look. So if you're going to recreate this look or anything, just make sure you blend because the look is pretty you know easy for the most part and then i'm going to get ready to um, cut my crease and i'm going to go in with the p louise base and of course another um morphe brush concealer brush and i think this one may be from babs beauty line that well babs who co collaborated with morphe i really like her um youtube her channel is babs beauty um here on youtube and i'm just going to cut my crease with the um base and then once I cut my crease um, with the base, it kind of took me a little while to um, cut my crease because I was trying to get it as precise as I um, possibly could. And once I cut my crease, I'm going to go in with the lid shade. I'm not sure if I show that part on there of me setting my lid with um, 
a whitish or off whitish um eyeshadow out of the James Charles um palette. So I'm just gonna go in and finish cutting my crease and setting it. And once I finish doing that, I'm going to um get ready and go into my lashes and my eyeliner. And I'm pretty much using um uh, my NYX eyeliner, um, which I pretty much love my liquid liner in the matte um formula and my um mink lashes and these mink lashes are from mon la vie services so if you would like to check out her um lashes then check her out on instagram she specializes in hair and um uh, lashes and i really like the lashes because they're not heavy at all on my um eyes and i hate the well lashes that's real heavy because i would be quick to want to pull them off but right now i'm just going in and lining my eyes doing a little cute wing liner um this part i really just be having to take my time because i don't know if you can tell but i don't one of my the other eye that's already complete like it looked totally different but i didn't use my tape like i normally would use but you know practice makes perfect so whatever then i'm going in with my primers and my um affordable foundation which is the l'oreal infallible and it's a pretty good foundation and i don't and right now I'm going in with my Sonya Casual sponge and I'm just going to blend in like my foundation and I'm just blend to my liking. And once I finish blending in my foundation, I'm going to go in um, with my ColourPop concealer. I'm not sure what shade it's in, but it's a pretty good concealer. You really have to work fast with it because it do dry fast and it's a mattifying formula. And then I'm going to go in um, with my setting spot powder and I'm going to use my air sponge setting powder um, that I got from Walmart. You can pretty much get it from any drugstore, but Walmart was the cheapest. And I'm just going to, you know, set my under eyes, the highlighted points like my under eyes, my chin, my forehead. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, Matte Plus Poreless Powder in 330 Toffee um, and set the remainder of my face. Um, with that powder and once I set the remainder of my face I'm just going to go in and bronze up a little bit and what I'm going to bronze with is my um, BH Cosmetics um, bronzer in Coco Cutie I want to say or I may be wrong with the name but it's something like that but it's very affordable probably like seven to eight dollars on BH Cosmetics don't quote me but BH Cosmetics always got some sales going on and then I'm going to go in with my Milani um, blush and my Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, and I'm just going to blush my face up and put my highlighter on. Give me a popping highlighter. Have my highlighter popping. And Wet n Wild got some nice highlighters for 3 or $4. You don't always have to go with high end because drugstore have a lot of nice affordable stuff. And the purpose of this video, my, vid my pride video is pretty much you know the drugstore in you don't have to always you know go with high-end makeup to get a nice you know affordable look like you can be bad on a budget and that's what i chose to do in this video and i'm pretty much with the powder on my under my cheek areas i'm just pretty much cleaning up my face so i can have like a precise um look and my face can really look contoured and cut out my cheeks cut out and stuff like that and then i'm going to go in and complete my eye, eye look by doing what i did on the top of my eyes so the colors that's at the top i'm just pretty much putting them at the bottom of my um eye and then I'm going to go in with my lip combo, which is NYX. I used a few things, not just this pink. I used um, NYX lip liner, a pink lipstick, and then I went back on top of it with my uh, NYX gloss. Um, I can't think of it, but it's like a stonish looking color. And this pretty much completes my um, look. Sorry if I rushed through it or seemed like I was all over the place, but this was my first voiceover. So just continue to work with me. And if you like this, then, you know, let me know with me um, describing, well, walking y'all through what I did. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this look. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time, beauty fam. Bye.